Oh, one of the most photographed bridges in the Lake District, Ashness Bridge. Because we're going to do a family walk up to the very, very family friendly Walla Crag. I get asked a lot if you were doing a first Wayne ride, if you were doing a first walk out with the family, what's the best one to do? So many people say Cat Bells. Forget about Cat Bells. Forget about Cat Bells if you're not used to hill walking. Walla Crag is so much easier and the views are just as spectacular. I was here, I think six weeks ago, I had my YouTube meetup with the absolutely fabulous Sam and Sue from Backpacks and Bruises. And strangely enough, it was weather exactly like this. Thankfully, the weather got better and better. So I'm hoping today, the same thing's going to happen. No matter what happens, we'll be in for a cracker. Why not come along with us? So the car park is just across the road, literally 50 yards away. So we're heading up through the ferns and there'll be a left turning uh, with a bridge crossing the river that we can hear. You can see where my son's going with his granddaughter off the main path there. And I would say we'll come up 300 yards so you just cannot get lost on this walk. This is the Walla Crag. This is the turn off. So we had a really good day yesterday up at Dodwood Summit. The forecast was absolute pants that uh, turned out to be brilliant. So the forecast isn't the best of day, so I'm hoping for a repeat performance. But within five minutes of the car park, we're starting to already get really nice views of Durham Water in the foreground and Bathamsworth Lake in the back. So just down there you can see the bridge, Astes Bridge and the car park. So you can see where we've walked up and cut across. I know there's a few people done this walk uh, after watching a previous video I've done of uh, Walla Crag. There's a couple said they wanted to do it, but they couldn't follow the instructions. So hopefully this one is uh, going to help out. And again, it's just following the path. Where me, uh, the rest of the family is up there. That point there is the steepest. So if you can get up there and get up to the rest, no problem at all. But the beauty about this walk is the views. As you're walking up, you've constantly got this view on the left-hand side and uh, all the way up and you've got it all the way down as well. How nice is that? Are so very clammy there. One of them days you put your coat on, no matter how thin it is, and within two minutes you're absolutely uh, boiling. So, even though the weather doesn't look the best, it's t shirt and short weather, and just fingers crossed that rain keeps off. Deliberately stopping at the back, letting people get ahead of us, and you can see the way the path snakes up, uh, but we're never getting up too high. We're doing a nice gentle walk. The mist is starting to blow in over. Bathroom's worth there now. There's not much of a breeze. So hopefully it won't come over here. We're just having a bit of a break here. I don't know if it's me or that rain getting a bit heavier as well. But uh, a typical Lakeland a day. He's the slow coach coming. How are you metal man? Well, two weeks ago, 
we were locked indoors with the curtain shut all the doors shut in 40.3 degrees heat absolutely unreal a week later it's 14 degrees now I know that 40 degree was too hot for me but you know it's taken my mickey a bit dropping back down to 14 degrees but the weather is starting to pull in but nothing stops my granddaughter she's plowing on no matter what uh, Mrs Metal Man holding up the rear well the weather was pulled in even more the rain is starting to come on so made a decision uh, as uh, my son and his wife want to continue on so I'm going on uh, with them but uh, Mrs Metal Man my daughter two granddaughters and Harry Metal Man have decided to turn back which is fine no problem at all with that uh, Walla Crag will always be here and uh, I want them to enjoy it when they do it so the unfortunate thing is and that's the top up there but never ever be frightened about making a decision about turning back I've done it before and I have no hesitation on doing it today if it wasn't comfortable in carrying on so the three musketeers <laughs> to be honest I think it's starting to brighten a bit there now so you never know when we get to the top we we'll get a nice clear view He's hoping, well, just disappearing down in the distance. One of the teachers I used to work with. When I was uh, a school caretaker uh, a couple of years ago. So that was really nice to bump into her. They'd just come down from Wallacrack. And the weather is definitely picking up there now. I'm told them they should have stopped with us. No, they made the right decision for them. And I went back down where I think we're going to be on the top of Walla Crag before they get back down with the car. Hopefully, safely. Because if Mrs. Metal Man's a fall, I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> you need the top there now, so please we've plowed on. Summit of Walla Crag. God knows how many times I've been up here. But uh, one thing for sure. Every time I've been up, the weather's always different. <laughs> Lovely cold breeze. The mist is now completely covered. Uh, Bleebury fell. So we haven't got the clear summit we were hoping for. No matter. We've made it. So my granddaughter always said she wanted to be in the clouds and if she continued on today she would have been because it's uh, very very misty at the top summit here today and it's starting to clear a bit there now so Walla Crag, what do you think? Is it easy enough for you? Can you think of an easier one? A better one with good views as well. If you've got any questions about Walla Crag, please leave a comment down below because I always get back to anybody that leaves a comment. If you watch the video all the way through, thank you very much. If you've enjoyed it, click on the like button. I'd really appreciate that. And why not consider subscribing? Won't be too long before I'm back out again. Cheers.